Coach is watching the line changers. Milk crate's proving a bit too much for this Islanders team. It's hard to hit. Once you get it in your head, it's hard to hit. It's even harder. <laughs> Good there. Four three. Thank you.
It's okay. Good? Yeah, I don't want him to be facing the thing. This is Ron Morgan. He plays for the New York Islanders. Ron, tell us how your game's going today. Well, it's, uh, it's a rather remarkable game because I'm playing with two, two strained uh, groin muscles. Oh actually. my goodness, wow. Do we want to know how you got these groin muscles strained? Uh, actually, I'm not even too sure myself. Oh. It's one of those freak accidents, apparently. Hey. The game's going over quite well. We got John and Nett. I'm a little upset. Nobody's taken off his helmet yet. Yeah. But yeah. I think that's uh, it's just a matter of time. Yeah. Before we can get to that. Okay, cool. Cool. You enjoy that drink you're drinking? Does it give you energy? Powerade. It's Powerade. It's on the ice. Makes me feel like I'm on the ice. Yeah. How is it? Do you play ice hockey? I do at times. And you prefer ice hockey? Yeah, I'd have to say so. Yeah. There's nothing like the real well, thing. Well, the thing is, I play ice hockey uh, a lot in the nude. And I just like that feeling while you're skating up and down the ice. <laughs> There's cool air all around you. That's interesting, too. It's, and it's a lot of, it's great because I get a lot of space myself because uh, people, like, I tend to get around them quite easily when I'm playing in the nude. <laughs> they don't want to check you, huh? I'm not too sure what it is. You get the odd player that does come right up to you and rub against you. Yeah. In, a, in an erotic manner. Who's uh, that guy? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I've heard that's the cutest guy in the world. He is. That's what I've heard. That's what I said. That's what they say. Holy crap. At times, I do like my throat protected though when I'm playing ice hockey, so I, I might wear a scarf or several scarves oh. to play around my throat. Then a lot of the times what I'll do is just, uh, I'll have an extra long scarf and I'll wear it down, down my uh, stomach and, and put it through my, under my legs and I'll like, much like the Yanomami tribe does in South America. It's actually a hockey technique that was learned from them. Yeah. Like early settlers, not, not so much early, but early in the the last half of the 1900s, in the 50s, some uh, archaeologists went down there, introduced them to, to hockey. So we took back the uh, ceremonial the tire that they were. Would you like to see that? No. no? <laughs> What's your favorite part of the game? Uh, I don't know. Shooting on that. Passing to players. Sounds mighty weak. Hmm? That sounds mighty weak. Weak? I'd have to say so. Oh, you, your favorite part's hitting people? No, actually on the ice it is, not out here. At least we have a lot of frail people out here. Yeah. <laughs> Go get him, Buster. Let's go. Let's do it.
killing them. Yes, they had rabbits too all the time. <laughs> I didn't know they had rabbits too. They told us. Oh man. I think they all oh, you are, isn't that illegal in Canada? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> oh, man. I think as long as the animal doesn't make a, a, a noise disturbance, you can do that. Oh man. Can you imagine slaughtering rabbits? What do you, how do you teach your kid how to slaughter rabbits? Yeah, two little girls, too. Come on, Louisa. First, you set this rope. Oh, man, that's disgusting. Yeah, look what she said. Yeah. They're tragically delicious. Oh! Hey, that would have been in earlier. <laughs> I think that shot he made did rim around, you know? Yeah, that's Wow. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, it's gold because you're covered in sweat. Like, here, taste this. I've covered it. Yeah. What? Who wants to taste you? Yeah. <laughs> Um, no, it's 